Hi, I'm Zach. I'm out here with Luke from Agco. Luke's got a really cool background. So Luke grew up on a family farm and also is a lead engineer with us here at Agco. So Luke, tell us a little bit about yourself and then we'll talk about why we're here. Oh, thanks Zach. I've been putting hay up my entire life on our farm. Round bales, small square bales, and this baler is really, really important to me. One thing that we really want to address here today about Simply Bale that we worked really hard on is our bale formation. Bale formation is really key for us. We want consistency every time. We want bale weight to be uniform every time, especially if we're trying to sell some of our hay. Everything goes right out the window if I'm putting more hay in that bale than what that consumer is paying for. Sounds like one of the key challenges you face is bale formation. And in my head, I think we've got a really cool solution here that we can talk about that's going to allow you to upgrade your small square baler with an aftermarket component and go to the field and simply bale. That's a great point, Zach. So some of the main things that I wanted to cover here with simply bale. You can get access to moisture on the end cab display. There's a new upgraded hydraulic system and a bale scale that is on the back of the baler that's going to tell you the weight every single bale. So as each one of those bales comes out, you're able to see a real-time weight of the bale that just landed on the ground? Absolutely. Every time you're going to be able to see what the last bale was, and you're also going to be able to see what the average of like the last four to five bales was, so that you could get a good idea going even over a very rough field about what your baler is putting out. I like it. So say I'm putting up three tie bales and I want to target that 100 pound bale. As my operator runs through the field, I can tell him, you know, dial it in at 100 pounds and he can see real time, boom, that's a 100 pound bale. And then maybe if it changes, then what happens? What can we do there? And that's where we bring in the hydraulic density control. So the upgraded hydraulics on this baler give both manual functions and automatic functions. So not only can I now lock a pressure in that I want in the bale chamber, but I can also lock in a bale weight. Wow. So talk about that maybe less experienced operator or even somebody that just wants a little bit more ease in, ease in the cab. It's all about simplicity and it's all about making things more convenient for that operator. So it sounds like I can tell my operator to go into the monitor and dial in that target bale weight and this machine will work to achieve that as it runs through the field? Absolutely, Zach. So with the combination of this bale scale and the heart of the hydraulic system, this hydraulic block, this baler is going to now do everything that it can to hit that target weight without you doing anything but driving. That is great. So a really easy solution for that maybe new, lesser experienced operator to go to the field and dial this machine in and put out those perfect bales. So when I think about the value of this and what this might mean to my operation, it's going to be in consistent bale weights every time. And there's a couple reasons why that matters to us. So you think about maybe that three tie producer that's selling by the ton or maybe the smaller two tie producer that sells by the bale, if I market a 100 pound bale or a 50 pound bale, I want to deliver that each and every time. Maybe as a two tie guy, I market my bales as 50 pounds and I sell them by the bale. Well, if I'm inadvertently baling 60 or 70 pound bales, I'm shorting myself on the sales side. Or on the flip side of that, if I market a 50 pound bale and I'm only putting out a 40 pound bale and I don't realize it, then I'm shorting the purchaser. So really it sounds like this is a great way to optimize what I'm doing as well as my revenue through a simple aftermarket kit. So also Zach, it's, it's not always about what you, know, you might want, but say I've got a fleet of balers running in the field. So as an operator, how, when you talk about efficiency, how can I keep all my balers on the same page? It's, it's ease of use, it's simplicity, it's, it's, it's simple. It needs to be simple. And so what we did was we tried to make it as straightforward as possible. All it takes is a bale weight that you can put in on your monitor and it's going to try and deliver that every time. That cuts down on communication in the field, both wrong communication and or more communication than's actually needed. Luke, I love the bale formation consistency this is going to give us. Is there anything else that we can get from a bale formation standpoint out of the Simply Bale system? Yeah, Zach. Bale moisture is super important to any producer and any operator. We really want to make sure that you have that visibility in the cab. And so the Simply Bale monitor gives you the access to adapt other aftermarket or third-party moisture systems so that you never lose that key aspect. 
while you cut down the other monitors that are in your cab. And that's great. So when I think about moisture and what that actually means to me in my operation, it's either too dry or too wet. And if I'm on the dry side, say I'm putting up alfalfa, I'm shattering leaves, leaves are where the value's at. So I need to know if it's too dry to bale, I need to shut down. Or on the flip side of that, say it's too wet, maybe I put up hay that's too wet, spoils in the stack, now my premium alfalfa just went to you know, feeder hay, and with that goes quite a bit of money. So real-time visibility to moisture is gonna be huge. I love that it's integrated into this kit. You bet, we tried to make everything as seamless and straightforward as possible. Convenience is everything. We really wanted everything to be simple. That's great. So Luke, I really love what you're telling me about Simply Bale with regards to bale formation and maybe that challenge that you mentioned earlier. So sounds like with regards to bale formation, we've got the scales that are on board. We've got the ability to auto adjust the density based on that target bale weight and we can implement scales. And you think about a hay producer that's putting up small squares, moisture and bale weight are critical when it comes to value and their bottom line. So you upgrade your 1800 series small square baler with the aftermarket Simply Bale kit. You go to the field, you're guaranteed to maximize your production as well as the value that you get out of your crop. So great product that you can upgrade any of your 1800 series small square baler and go to the field and Simply Bale.